What's good, people? It's the Lightbringer. You're watching Lightbringer TV. I'm back again. We've got another show for you guys. Today, we're going to be discussing Craig David, the UK R&B singer. Very popular both sides of the um, Atlantic, USA, and the UK. Well, Europe, most of the world, to be honest. He was a world star in the early 2000s. So the dude... Apparently, he's got something to say, something to let you guys know. So, uh, you know, without further ado, let's let's play the clip. I had mentioned about a year ago that you are celibate. You know, you're trying to kind of change things in your life. Are you still currently celibate? And how has that been going? When I did the first album, Born to Do It, I was just like... I was 17 years old. Oh so these goodness. were all aspirations. It's crazy, right? And I was yeah. like, I just want to, what would it be like just to really just not even lock in for, for work, not to kind of like, oh, we're doing this for any reason, but what would it be like just to just not be, oh, we're on a date dating every, every time or we're in this city and you just want to mess around. What if we just parked all that for a moment? What would mm. it be like? So how long has it been now and also, what would make you like break your drought? Do you know what? Like for me, it's been like I know to the date. It was like two years now for me, which wow. is like so. But in a in a funny way, as much as I was like wow to myself for a moment, <laughs> it just felt that when I look at what I've what has creativity. You had mentioned about a year ago that you are okay, guys. So that's what he went to let the world know. He went to let. The world know that hey, I'm in my 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 spiritual element. I'm in my celibate frame of time, time of frame, whatever timeline. This is what the brother went to let the, let the world know. So the, the thing is, so I'm a UK dude, and I know I, I know what's going on with the situation. Yeah, American guys, you might not Amer well, American audience, you might not know the ins and outs of everything. Yeah, pause. But the dude, the dude bats for both sides. Okay, let's just keep it a hundred. Yeah, uh, th this is he's not confirmed this. He's never came out of it officially, but it's it's like a uh, it's kind of like the Luther Van Dross thing. Brothers, bro, people know, people know. Dude, dude, dude is dude is fruity, you know. And he he he, he it's there's good, extremely good reason to believe he bats for both sides. So. That's really what he's kind of like tap dancing around, really. He's tap dancing around the fact that the dude should buy now. No one really is checking for Craig David like that anymore. He's uh, highlight real. He's highlight big mass record selling time is done. Now he's, you know, I mean, he's early 40s now. It's been 20 years since he had the major success. Just come out and go and say it. If that's your life, go and say it, you know. We ain't going to hold it against you. So rather than him saying it, he's doing all this stuff. Yeah, the, 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 I'm being celibate for two years. You know, see, let's be devil's advocate for a second. Let's just pretend the dude, you know, he, he was straight and narrow. Let's pretend. Because that's how he would want you to believe it. That's how he's what he's trying to say. <laughs> how he'd want you to believe it. Yeah, he's that he's straight, which he's not. So now the brother, the brother is is a multi-millionaire. Let's let's do some of his accolades. So he rose to fame, early 2000s, big with hits, seven days, fill me in, pause, pause, major pause. Fill me in. That's a major pause. I shouldn't even say it again. Um, career highlights, blah, 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 released in 2000. Album sold over 7 million copies worldwide and spawned several hits. That album was a fantastic album. Honestly, that is pretty much a classic album, that Born to Do It album, um, which is also, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of pause-worthy moments on that album, but great album, musically, and I keep, I keep it 100. He did have... He's got an excellent brand, Craig David, an excellent brand. And in the UK, he had the credibility, he had the accolades, the respect of everybody from the urban, from black people in the urban London environments, up north, the white people, 
all other races of people. Craig David was kind of like, yes, he was held up there. And in America, for what I understand, he definitely sold a lot of albums in America. I think he was a number one in America um, for many weeks, I believe. So he obviously done his thing over there. Um, in terms of the ladies used to love Craig David back in the day. I'm doing going back 20 years, over 20 years. They used to love Craig David. But now, no, the females ain't checking for Craig David anymore, to be honest. Like, the dude's aged badly. You know what I mean? The, 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 that time has gone, like, he, the femininity kind of seeps out of him, you know, because it's, it's really, you know, homo, homo, you know, H-O-M-O. It's really that that's pouring out of him, you know what I mean? So the females are kind of like, ah, they way over us. So he was in Miami. He was doing his thing. He made a lot of money in his career. Miami, you know, that's the Gianni Visace hangout. So you know what comes with Miami. That's why the dude was in Miami because the paparazzi over here would have caught on to his, 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 whatever he was doing. But in Miami, I don't know, maybe he was able to dodge and dive and it's a, it's a different setup out there. That's why he was doing out there in Miami. So if this dude was a real bachelor, because that's kind of what he pretends he is, the brother would have, yeah, he would have been a bit more... Like, let me just say it like this, bro. If if you're celibate and you need to, you know what I mean, to get something in your chest and you're you're straight, which you're not, go to Brazil, go to go to Colombia, yeah, go to the Dominican Republic, yeah. Do your thing, yeah. I must say as well, I gotta say, the dude is not a Londoner. Just to let you know, like he looks like a Londoner, he could pass a Londoner, he sounds like a Londoner. Most people get surprised, but he's actually from Southampton, which is a coastal town in the in the in the south of the UK by the by the ocean. He's not, he's not a Londoner. So I just want to make that you know because maybe that that was like he didn't grow up in a an urban type of environment. He so maybe that's I don't know. His his exposure might have been a little different. His upbringing, someone might have fondled him or something. That might be why he's the way he, you know he. he he turned out, but you know, so you, you always have to read between the lines, guys. Read between the lines. The brother is, 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 is you know, he goes both ways. You know, you can do your own research, you can do your googlings. Yeah, so let, let me let me go on to my next point, guys. My next point, next point is this, yeah, and it kind of links. So he's talking about celibacy, Craig David, yeah, how he's celibate. The thing is, that's that's basically a disconnect. Yeah, it's a disconnect between men and women. And the West, the West specializes in that, you know, through the ethnism, through just modern ways, uh, the Me Too situation, all this, it's, it increases all the disconnect. The disconnect is very evident. And that's why you brothers need to get your passports and you need to leave the West. You need to be planning your exits. Don't be you don't need to be making no children in the West, really. I mean, if you do, do. But financially, now is probably not the right time. Stack your chips. You need to get out. Because the the, the relationship between men and women ain't gonna get much better. Now, let, let me give you some examples, guys of what I'm seeing in the West. Let's close this. Let's close this, remove this from the studio. And let's see if I can show you my next exhibit. Slides, share screen. Okay, here we go. So let's see what we can do. Let's see if I can blow this shit up a bit. Yeah, that's better. So look what we have here. So. The disconnect in the West. Remember that, yeah. Let's go. Oops. Oops. Music. Music. Let's let's turn the, that 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 music down and let's press play. There we go. Uh, you know, I don't want no strikes. So this brother's on a solo date. He bought a cinema ticket for one, 12, 12 bucks. You know, he lounged out. You know, he's going back in his car. But he's no chick. There's no, there, he ain't got a piece by his side. 
he ain't got a piece. Now the dude looks like he could be he he could be a Dominican. So I mean, I mean the the, the brother might need to go back to the source. You know what I mean, so let's let's see another. Let's see let's see what else we got. So what's this dude? So this brother is, is free twelve on a Monday, and I'm rooftop poolside with my drawers out and my toes drinking tequila straight, eating two different entrees. Life is phenomenal. Welcome to another day of the unbothered, unproblematic black man. Okay, fair dues. Like there's peace in that. Yeah, I'm mean, he's chilling. Look at this dude here. Okay. So this dude, this this dude went crazy with the with the effects. Yeah. Okay. So this is an extravagant dude. Solo. This this yeah. This dope. This this date was hella solo. I don't know what this dude did. So I don't know. We got these these brothers here. These brothers lotioning up to go on his solo date with Jurgens. Looks like. Okay. He's fruity. Okay. We got a bunch of a bunch of black females. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, we we yeah. See, you read that. You, uh, you brothers probably saw that. Yeah, I'm even gonna repeat the words. Yeah, what's all this here? So, all this here is all connected to that initial story. Yeah. So, and the reason being is because no brothers, any straight, red bloody male ain't going no, no. You ain't going even three weeks. We get some, unless unless you are on. You know, I get it. Some guys go. I don't believe in this no fat nonsense and this whole. Yeah, you know I mean, get out of your system, because you're gonna develop. Your brothers are gonna develop all kinds of um, ailments, yeah, and colon cancers and shit. Yeah, so get out of your system. Yeah, it's healthy. You can look that up. You need to be releasing, preferably, in some attractive women. Yeah, at least every at least every three to four weeks, at least once a month. God damn it, at least. Because if you're not, there's gonna be some red flags, and there's gonna be some question marks, guys. Okay, so if you look, I don't even want to know because this is like a horrible little treasure trove. I don't even like what where this whole little page is going. So, guys. The West, basically. Let me let's let's. Uh, what else can we look? Because that that whole thing just this sounds wrong. Uh, what can we go? Look, what can we look at Brazil? Let's look at some Brazil, um, Brazil love. Let's see, because the Brazil, the Dominican Republic. See, you got you got the, the sister kiss the, the 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 white girl trying to kiss speed. You got you know what I mean people. Brazil, the climate in Brazil is very romantic. It's very females and men are getting on. The birth rate is good. It's decreasing, but it's decreasing everywhere around the world. But it's still pretty good. The Dominican Republic, there's women are having kids. It's decreasing because it used to be like six per per mother. Now it's like two because you know times change. But the point being is. The men and the women in these Latin countries lack each other. That's the difference. The women and the men in Latin countries lack each other. There's a mutual respect, understanding. There's cooperation to, towards something. You know what I mean? Towards a, a, a common goal. But these relationships in the West, all these women really want to do is kind of uh, let, let you take them out on these dates, uh, run your pockets, and discard you because it, we, it's a microwave dating system that you guys are dealing with in the states, particularly, and in the UK. The UK takes their cues. The women take their cues from over in the states. You know what I mean? Instagram just shortened the the communication line. That's what happened. It shortened it from maybe it was four years to a week. You know. So, brothers, the message is always: you got to get your passports because. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. Yeah. See, look at this. Look at this. Let's look at this. Okay, these are American black girls, yeah. So they did the big girls, the big girls. That's the other thing, is this obesity is affecting the market. You know, I always talk about markets. This obesity rate since COVID has got worse, at least in the UK. 
it's going to affect the market because the supply and demand is affected by the supply of beautiful women. They need to be slim and fit. That's crucial. That's crucial for a, for a thriving market where men are going to want to not only impregnate women, but marry them, stay around, be a workhorse for that woman. You ain't gonna, brothers ain't going to be workhorses for, you know, women that are overweight. Not in mass. You know what I mean? Excuse the pun. Not in mass because, like Kevin Simon used to say, 125 pounds. Five foot five, one twenty five, and he said five. What did he say? He said five pounds for every inch taller above five five you are, and that's the scale I rock with. That's the, yeah. Is there some thick women that are attractive? Yeah, but I'm hella selective about <laughs> the type of thick women I deal with. I'm hella selective. They, I be analyzing like, okay, how's this? How's that? That that mass structured because. It don't take long for that to blow up. You know what I mean? It don't take long. So just be, you know what I mean? Like, just be selective, guys. You've got options. Use these options. Don't be like Craig David, okay? Two years, no box? See this? Uh-uh. All right, guys. Till next time.